three cents off uh, speedway, so that took it to four fifty four. And I put and four H and H here. No digital noise hit. reduction. That's with digital noise reduction on the FTDX 5000. No digital noise reduction. And yes, I'm breaking my own rule. I'm running Amp 1. You hear how weak he is? Digital noise reduction. It's funny, some of the conversations you hear in my videos, you know, in the future, if these videos are still up, people will be able to listen to these and they'll get a little bit of a snapshot in time. Here they are talking about gas prices. shifting all around. I'm sure you see that on the meter. I'm, I'm 30 miles away from everything here, I ain't. I hear my brother hollering on two meter radio here. Let me, uh, no digital noise reduction. Okay, Nathan, go right ahead. I'll catch you when you get back. Of course, the way I would normally run this is IPO1 or even 2 if the signal's strong, like Billy there, the, the stronger station of the two. That's Billy 84PF. He's usually quite strong. Funny thing is, he's using a ZS6 BKW, same thing I have, uh, and um, uh, he wasn't able to get his up 40 feet like uh, you're supposed to. His is only up at around 13 feet, I believe he said. So he's got the ladder line laying on the grass and then 100 feet of coax. And uh, he talks anywhere he wants to with that thing. It's amazing. I think he said the ends are like six feet off the ground and then the middle is around 13 feet. So uh, you do the math on that. There's 40 feet of, uh, of ladder line, technically a window line, laying on the grass. And it's supposed to be suspended vertically. Anyway, just a side note on this on this video. Guess uh, nobody's gonna come back right now. Listen to the noise floor disappear with that digital noise reduction. I've only got it set on three. This uh, was the best digital noise reduction I had ever seen on any radio during my eight months of testing before I bought a new transceiver. Those of you who know my history uh, and have been watching the channel a while, know that it took me 20 years to buy a new base station and i spent eight months deciding and this radio had the best digital noise reduction uh there is and uh nothing matched it until the ftdx 10 came out and i was shocked because i chose this radio over the ftdx 101 because it's well among other things but the digital noise reduction in the FTDX 101 that I tested um, uh, against this radio was not good. Uh, I mean, it was good, but it was no better than the FT891, which is not bad itself. But compared to this, no. And yet, uh, you know, the, uh, the FT891 and the FTDX101, and for that matter, the FTDX10, the FTD, FTD, uh, FT991A, they all run the same Texas Instruments DSP chip. Uh, the, the, the TMS320C6746. And uh, yet, it was the programming that was different, you know. And so, uh, I even shamed Yesu a little bit. I said, how can you release a flagship radio that doesn't have better uh, DNR than your $600 mobile? And, uh, and yet they share the same chip. 
So um, after the 10 came out with its wonderful DNR, uh, Yesu released an update for the FTDX 101. So because they're basically the same architecture, the, the, the 10 is based upon the 101D. So until the 10 came out, this was the best DNR there is. And to be honest with you, uh, it's about neck to neck with the 10. Now this radio, along with the FTDX 3000D, FTDX 1200, they use uh, also a Texas Instruments DSP chip, but a different chip. It's the um, uh, TMS 320C6727B Baker or Bravo. Um, it runs at 300 megahertz. Uh, the chip in the in the FTDX 10 101, they uh, that chip is running at 368 and some change. Okay, 368 point, I think 64 megahertz. But you know, somewhere somewhere along in there, um, what's 0.64 megahertz among friends? But uh, yeah, it, it's um, pretty incredible the digital noise reduction on this radio. So, with no one talking and IPO digital noise reduction on, listen to that. Nothing. There's digital noise reduction off. And again, I'm only running it, as you see, three. Let me brighten it up. A, watch your eyes. There we go. I run the display dim when I'm sitting in here in the, in the dark. Uh, that's a good thing about having a radio with knobs and buttons, the ergonomics of it. I don't need to see. I know where everything is. I can make a quick change by reaching for a knob in the dark. Uh, well, very low light. All right. Well, anyway, just a, a, a quick little video there, uh, having the opportunity for you to hear a stronger station, a weaker station, the difference that digital noise reduction can make. I mean, when they're down there at the noise floor, and uh, there was some also a little power line noise mixed in that with that atmospheric noise. Uh, but when they're down at that level, that digital noise reduction can mean the difference in, in picking out words that you might have missed or even letters. Uh, of course, when you're chasing a rare DX soda poda, uh, it can mean the difference in being able to get your signal report, being able to get, you know, confirm their call sign, uh, things like that. So a uh, very valuable tool, you know, and if you've watched my channel very long, you, all, you know also that in combination with that, you can use something called the contour control uh, when, when needed, uh, and that can even add another level of uh, intelligibility, I call it. Not fidelity. Contour cuts fidelity, but it helps with intelligibility. Go watch a, one of my videos where I cover the contour control. All right, hey, thanks for watching. I uh, do appreciate it. Thank you to the Patreon team members who bring these videos to you. Otherwise, uh, well, they wouldn't happen. I wouldn't be able to justify the time to do it. Uh, so thank, uh, thank those Patreon team members uh, in a comment or something. If you'd like to join that team, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, and please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button. Click the like. That helps us out with YouTube. And uh, then, of course, consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, be sure to click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload the next video, generally once a week, sometimes twice a week. Hey, again, thanks for watching, and 73 from N4H&H.